What's up, everyone? Um, RT 300 Restorative Therapies. I um, just want to talk about their product a little bit. Uh, I'm a T6 Complete Paraplegic, and uh, I purchased their RT 300 about two months ago after using it in therapy at Kennedy Krieger Institute in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, it's been a you know, key piece that I've been using for recovery. Um, I gained four inches of girth in my uh, lower calf muscles. And I can definitely tell an increase in my hamstrings and glutes and muscles um, since my injury. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just starting to warm up and I'll show you that. So the stimulation isn't really on yet. It's just warming up and getting everything moving before I start doing it myself with the help of electronic stimulation. I'll show you that when that kicks on. I noticed uh, since I've been riding the bike, I haven't had many spasms as I used to. My legs just great kicking the spasm. When I'm done riding the bike every day, I ride it four to five days a week mostly. Sometimes three, it depends on how busy I am. But I'll do other core stuff and other stimulation with my uh, uh, portable stim on my abs and back. Um, with core stuff and weights. So if I'm not riding a bike on the other day, it's, it's depending on my schedule. Sometimes I'm busy, sometimes I'm not, so I'll ride more. But uh, the stimulation kicked on now, so I'll show you. The stimulation will increase. I, I gradually till 80% and then that's usually where I keep it so I adjust the resistance and target speed to keep me about 85 to 80 you know maybe 90 but the higher that is the more it's gonna tire out your muscles so if I'm gonna ride a couple times a week I gotta keep it around 80 so that I can you know keep them strong enough if you just crank it to 100 it's not all about speed it's about resistance too, so I keep the resistance up and ride for an hour session each time. Um, and I can usually knock out about eight and a half to nine miles in an hour session with a 1.58 resistance and a target speed around 45 miles an hour. But I've been, this is my I think 25th to 26th session on the bike since I've purchased it and uh, if any of you are going through the, the appeal process with your insurance I know it's a long you know, grueling process but hopefully it'll come around it's been I'd say three months now since I've been going through that so I tried to purchase this bike as soon as I could with my injury, you know, I raced ATV motocross and uh, got spilled over the bars. And ever since then, I've been wanting to do something to get back on my feet again. So, of course, everyone, that's their goal after a spinal cord injury. But, uh, the bike is a, I'd say, a real good repetitive motion and keeping your muscles strong and a couple times before I've rode it doing this doing the bike I got really bad UTI urinary tract infections and it seems the more I move around if you just lay around like after I got home from the hospital and uh, McGee rehab in Philly after I got home from there I couldn't really do much because I was in the brace I didn't have a bike so I just do weights and some other little things, but I wasn't moving like I am now, like riding nine miles a day. So it really helps, you know. And thinking about pedaling 
and moving and just hopefully retraining everything and sending signals. So that's all we can do, but right now you can, I'll show you. Eighty-five percent where it'd probably stay around that area. Eighty to ninety. And there's my balance. My right leg is usually a little bit more than the left. Um, but it's not a big difference. It's only about anywhere from three to seven percent. And there's my uh, watts, how much watts I'm pushing. It's only seven. I mean I watch a lot of videos, a lot of people in the teens. Hopefully I can get there sometime. And that little, it kind of looks blue, but it's not. It's the gray wheel down there. When that's blue, what that means is the electronic motor in the bike, if you're not strong enough to, your muscles aren't strong enough to pedal, that will kick in and uh, help you along until you get strong enough, you know little by little, or when you're warming up and cooling down, that kicks in to turn the stem off. But uh, I have all the pads on my glutes. I'm targeting glutes, which I won't show you. Hand, strings, and uh, quads. And I feel for real good contractions to let me know how much stem I need or what I want, you know, for resistance or target speed. But, uh, yep, I'm only seven minutes into my session. And just about ready to hit a mile. So, everything's strapped in good, lined up. Thinking about moving, riding my bike. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed it if you're looking for a bike.